hi students today i am going to discuss the object representation so how the object can be represented in three dimensional so here it is a specific uh, identification to represent the object in three dimension so which can be divided into two categories so the object can be represented in the boundary representation or the b representation so second uh, category of the object representation is the space partitioning re representation here the boundary representation is a uh, describes a set of uh, surfaces so that uh, separates the object interior from the environment so this is the very important uh, concept in the uh, dimensional three, uh, three dimensional issue so because the object which is placed on the three dimension so some portion will be located in the xy plane some portion will be located in the uh, yz plane and some portion is located in the uh, yz y x plane so uh, z x plane sorry so that means here object can be represented on that particular three dimension is a specifically a boundary representation it is a set of uh, surfaces and coming to the space partitioning representation what the space partitioning representation is nothing but it is also a set of a small or uh, non overlapping contiguous solids so that is usually cubes so when we are using that uh, cubes format so that is the representation of the uh, space partitioning representation so it also describes the interior properties uh, by partitioning the the spatial region uh, containing the uh, containing an object into a smaller or uh, smaller cubes or non uh, overlapped cubes can be represented so here the first one we can observe in the object representation so that is in the uh, polygon surfaces so here here the set of surface surfaces are nothing but the uh, polygon surfaces so here you can observe in this diagram a three dimensional object represented by the polygons so which may be the identified so here how the polygon uh, surfaces can be identified so the most commonly used representation for 3d graphics or uh, uh, graphics uh, animation so here you can also use this particular uh, uh polygon surfaces in the animation also so it is a set of surfaces polygons that enclose the object interior so it is a set of polygons are stored for object description object description is nothing but the object information now we go through the detailed discussion of the object representation so that is a uh, set of uh, surfaces so those are the polygon surfaces or the boundary representation now coming to there are three ways to represent polygon surfaces the first one is the polygon tables second one is the polygon e uh, plane equations and third one is the uh, polygon meshes coming to the polygon tables again you can observe in this polygon table the polygon tables are also divided into the three categories uh, one is the vertex table and second one is the edge table and third one is the a uh, polygon surface table now you can observe this particular diagram this diagram having the uh, uh, different vertices uh, that is v1 v2 v3 and uh, uh, v4 and v5 five vertices are there and uh, some of the edges nothing but the e1 e2 uh, e3 e4 e5 and e6 uh, uh, edges are there and here the two surfaces are located in this particular so you can observe this is the surface one and this is the surface two so that means uh, here a polygon surfaces uh, identified the different vertices and different uh, edges and uh, the two here that poly this polygon is uh, uh, taken the two surfaces that is the uh, one surface s1 and s2 and coming to this how we can prepare the uh, vertex table here so the vertex table is nothing but what are the coordinates of that particular vertex the coordinate in the 3d belongs to the x1 y1 and z1 so x y z are the uh, coordinates of that particular vertex so here the v1 considered to the uh, the vertex uh, the vertex v1 considered to the uh, coordinates are the x1 y1 and z1 and v2 considered to the x2 y2 z2 v3 considered to the x3 y3 z3 and v4 vertex 4 considered to the uh, x4 y4 and z4 and uh, vertex 5 considered to the Uh, x y and y 5 and z y 
so these all are the vertices uh, vertices belongs to the uh, coordinates so we have to prepare that is the vertex table and coming to the edge table edge table the edge is always in between the two vertices so the edge is nothing but the two vertices now you can observe in this particular diagram so this e1 becomes to the uh, edge between the v1 and uh, v2 uh, v1 and uh, here the uh, that particular vertex v1 and to the v2 so e1 is belongs to v1 and v2 the e2 is belongs to the uh, v2 to v3 and edge 3 belongs to the here you can observe v1 to v3 edge 4 belongs to the v2 to v4 edge 5 belongs to the v1 to v6 that means these all are the edges we have to write when e1 is uh, uh, even edge 1 taking the between the two coordinates v1 and v2 edge 2 uh, is between the v2 to v3 edge 3 between the v3 to v1 edge 4 becomes to the v3 to v4 edge 5 v3 v4 to v5 edge 5 v5 to v1 so now we have to be observed in this particular edge table so all the edges of the polygon we have to write and final table is the polygon surface table what the polygon surface table here is nothing but the uh, surfaces are considered to the two surfaces already we observed s1 and s2 so the s1 and s2 are the two surfaces these two surfaces are belongs to on the polygon so now we have to write the s1 the s1 is taking the edges e1 edge is belongs to the s1 e2 edge is belongs to s1 e3 edge is belongs to s1 these three uh, edges you can write here and similarly in s2 we have to observe here also the s1 s2 is also considered to the edge e3 e6 e5 and e4 so here the four vertices four edges we have to be considered in this particular survey so here e3 is the common edge between the s1 and the s2 that's why here e3 edge is uh, taken the place of s1 and s2 so this is the polygon tables all the uh, vertices and the edges and the surfaces the information here we called as information is nothing but the description all the uh, edges and uh, vertices and the surfaces description should be taken place uh, uh, on the particular polygon then we can prepare in the polygon tables that is a separate one so the polygon tables are referred to as a vertex table and the edge table and the polygon surface table and coming to this again we go through the particular vertex table edge table and polygon surface table after that so we have to be considered here how many vertices are belongs to the particular given polygon and finally we can write the every uh, coordinates and after that you can you can be observed here the polygon surface table it is also surface 1 and surface 2 considered on that particular object so the edge e1 e2 e3 e4 and e5 e6 e, uh, these edges are belongs to some edges belongs to s1 and some to some edges belongs to s2 but one edge should be the common of these two surfaces s1 and s2 that is here in the e3 and coming to the a plane equ a, a, a plane equation so what the plane equation here in the sense so the plane equation uh, the equation for a plane uh, general equation of that plane equation is ax plus by plus c dot cz plus d equals to 0 so here x y z is the point on the plane and the co coefficient of a b c d are constant describing the spatial properties of the plane so now we have to be observed this particular equation can be solved and finally we can identify the x y z value and similarly the constant values of the a b c and also the z so once you can write this particular equation so we can divide this particular equation uh, to find the uh, a value becomes to the here simply we can write uh, uh, a by d plus b by d plus c by d plus equals to minus 1 here is the x coordinate here y coordinate here and z coordinate here so a by d into x plus b by d into y plus c by d into z equals to the minus 1 so based on this so we have to find the uh, here you can write you can here you can observe it is very clear so equals to minus 1 a by d into x1 plus b by d into y1 so here you can consider these three equations and finally we get the the values of the a b c and d value and similarly we can get the values of the 
x1, y1 and z1 value. So now the plane equation can be taken in this particular format. Whatever the x coordinate, all the x1, y1 and uh, x1, x2, x3 coordinate becomes to the 1 when we take the x value. That's why a into x value in the sense. So all the x values are nothing but the uh, take the unity 1. So and coming to the b, b, uh, b matrix. So this also can be considered to represent that particular x1, x2, x3 is the common and the middle values of the 1, 1, 1 that is the y belongs to. So b into b into y. So that's why the y values are all our y values as the unity value. And similarly the c, so it, it is a equation c into z. That's why all the z coordinates values are the 1. And finally we can uh, take this particular equation for any point x, y, z with parameters a, b, c and d. We can say that a x plus b y plus c z plus d is not equals to 0 means the point is not on the plane. So based on this only we can decide it if it is not equals to 0 so means the point is not on the plane. So if a x plus b y plus c z plus d is less than 0 means the point is inside the surface and if it is greater than 0 that is the point is an outside the surface. So a x plus b y plus c z plus d is greater than 0 so means the point is an outside the surface. Now we have to take in the a plane equation with applications of the uh, either these uh, following diagrams and uh, you can be find out any uh, any uh, of the particular object image so which is represented on the uh, 3d plane so we can take this particular coordinates of this line so that belongs to the ax plus by plus cz equal plus uh, uh, d equals to zero in the sense based on that equation so we will find the uh, notations of the a b c d constant values and also we get the coordinates of the x y and z 